Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel and today I'm going to show you how to draw this cute sweater, knitted hat and mittens in Adobe Illustrator with watercolor texture. And if you're interested, please keep watching. This is size of my workspace and these are colors which I'm going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look at the design and download an original AI file with colors and my design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this tutorial. And now let's start to draw. Well, guys, hope your artboard and colors are ready. And now let's start. Let's take this green color in the fill and rectangle tool. And now press in any place and let's create rectangle 308 to 465. OK. Now move this rectangle here. Now take direct selection tool, select these two corners. And here you need to write 116. OK. Now let's take ellipse tool and draw here the ellipse like that. Now select both shapes and align them. Now take Shape Builder tool and hold ALT, delete this part and this one. Now direct selection tool and select these two corners. At first this one rounded and this one rounded. OK. Now select our shape, go to Effect, Warp, Arc, Lower. And here we need horizontal and 11%. 11, 11 OK. Object, Expand Appearance. Now let's take Ellipse tool and we need to create ellipse with these options 206 and here 468 and now we need to rotate this shape and move it here and you need to be sure that your shapes are matched like that. Uh -huh. Let's look closer. A little fix here like that. Okay, now select both shapes and take Shape Builder tool, hold ALT and delete this part. OK, now take rectangle tool, draw the rectangle like this, rotate it, move here. We need to cut off a part of a sleeve. Now select both shapes and Pathfinder uh, intersect. OK, now again take Rectangle tool, draw here the rectangle. And now move rectangle like that. Now take direct selection tool, this point, and move it down. OK. Now let's Take dark selection tool and this corner and hold and drag to round this corner. And the same here. 
okay now take both uh, shapes of the sleeve group them and now transform reflect vertical copy and move here like that and let's move this part a little up select both shapes okay and now let's select the whole sweater and pathfinder unite okay the main shape is ready now let's add details let's take dark green color in the stroke and now let's take pen tool here will be first point and here the second one okay and now hold and drag and a little round the line like this to, es uh, to exit pen tool mode you need to press escape now let's select the line and now take width tool and here hold and make it make it wider like that and now let's change the stroke options let's select the stroke and here stroke and take round cup okay now select the line transform reflect vertical copy and move the line here okay now let's take pen tool and draw here one more line a little rounded and now escape okay you need to be sure that here rounded cup and here i need to take this brush okay now let's move this point with the help of direct selection tool a little here and take pen tool draw the first line here escape now select the line hold odd and make one copy and the second copy now you need to be sure that your lines are beyond the shape of the sweater now take the same brush for these three lines and go to object expand now select the sweater and all lines and shape builder tool and delete these unwanted parts okay now select these shapes transform reflect vertical copy and move them here now fix here okay and now let's draw here the same line the first point here the second here a little round the line okay now escape and we need the stroke here select this line and this brush okay and now let's move this line here and this point here okay now let's take the line here and copy 
with help of odd and you need to put lines in the places you like the most and delete unwanted parts with help of shape builder tool now let's take a direct selection tool and round these two corners like that a little now the same here we need to draw uh, the line like this like that round it okay escape and now you need to move the line in the place you like the most select this brush and here delete unwanted parts and add lines here copy just the line and move here make it a little a little longer like that and you need to rotate lines like this and delete unwanted parts with help of shape builder tool okay it's ready now uh, let's take pink color and ellipse tool draw the first ellipse put here copy and paste and put here now select both ellipses and align them now select the sweater and ellipses and shape builder tool and delete unwanted parts now we need pink color in the stroke and brush tool double click to brush tool we need this option okay and here let's draw something like this okay and here the same okay now let's move it a little up now take this shape go to a object expand appearance select the sweater and this shape and shape builder tool and delete unwanted parts okay and now here let's select the line take add anchor point tool here we need to add one point and here the same now direct selection tool select this point and press delete and select that one and press delete and now move these two lines to front a little closer I need to fix here some problems we need to move this point here here I want to round this corner with help of direct selection tool and here the same I need to move this point like that okay now I need this color in the field without stroke and rectangle tool draw here the line like this it will be our snowflake copy and paste this line and now i need to move it here and make it shorter okay now rotate it move here now right click transform reflect vertical copy and move here select both align them move a little up and maybe a little down like that 
Now you can rotate them more if you like. Select both shapes, copy and paste them. Now rotate, move here. Okay, now select all shapes and Pathfinder Unite. Now right click, transform, rotate 90 degrees, copy, select both shapes and group them, copy and paste the snowflake, make it smaller. You can rotate like that or you can go to transform rotate and here 45 degrees okay and move here now select the snowflake make it bigger or smaller or you can do uh, two or three snowflakes as you like okay the sweater I think is almost ready. We need just take dark green color and in the stroke and brush tool and add some cute details like this. Some lines to create sweater view. Yep like that and now the sweater is ready now let's draw the head uh, let's take this green color and ellipse tool and draw the ellipse i think like that okay and now let's take pink color and brush tool and we need to draw here something like rectangle and don't forget to hold out to close the path okay now ch change stroke to fill select this uh, select these two shapes and shape builder tool now hold out and delete unwanted part and uh, now let's take direct selection tool and move this point and move this point a little down like that now again take uh, pink color and brush tool and here let's draw something like ellipse. Hold out in the end. Okay, now let's fix a little the shape like that. Okay, yes, I like. Now let's take this color in the stroke and brush tool and draw some straight lines here, here and here. Okay, now uh, move this line a little up and let's take ellipse tool with the same color in the fill and draw small ellipse move it here now hold out to make copy a little closer uh, now hold out to make copy now ctrl d as many times as you need it okay select all shapes move them move them here and now take this color in the stroke and line tool draw the straight line go to 
effect uh, this dot and transform zigzag and here we need 10 and here 9 or 10 as you like it and here you can change for example smooth or corner I take corner okay and now object expand appearance now take direct selection tool and a little round all corners move uh, make the shape this brush and a little move it like that now we need to delete unwanted parts at first we need to uh, go to object expand appearance for all lines now select all lines and this part and shape builder tool and delete unwanted parts hold alt and just delete them okay now let's uh, change here fill to stroke and draw here the shape like that okay I think let's a little move it here object expand appearance and again delete unwanted parts with help of shape builder tool okay now, now let's take dark orange color and uh, in the stroke and brush tool and here let's draw some cute details like that okay okay guys the head is ready now let's draw mittens we need pink color in the fill and rectangle tool draw here the rectangle like this okay and here one more rectangle like that now select these two corners and round them like that now take this rectangle rotate it and move it here make it a little longer and let's take these two corners and the same around them now take this shape and a little rotate it and move a little closer okay now select both shapes pathfinder unite direct selection tool take this corner hold and drag to round it and the same here now uh, take light green color and brush tool and draw here something like this okay now let's move it here make it bigger and move it here for a little um, and take these two points and move them down now take this shape move it back change stroke to fill uh, now you can do it a little wider like that or like this as you like and now let's take this shape free transform tool this option and here we need to make like that okay move up I like it now let's uh, select this 
snowflake, copy and paste it, make it smaller, group it, move here, make it bigger a little like that. And now let's add some more details. Here we need this color in the stroke and brush tool and draw here some lines. Okay, now move the line like this a little up and this one a little up. Now I need to take um, ellipse from the head, select it, copy and paste. Put here. Now hold ALT to make copy and CTRL D, CTRL D, CTRL D, CTRL D. OK, now just move the ellipses like that and select this, this and that one and make it pink color. Now we need to delete unwanted parts. We need to select to select lines and go to Object Expand Appearance and Shape Builder tool to delete unwanted parts. OK. And now dark orange color and brush tool. And let's draw some cute details like that. Uh -huh. Yes, I like it. Let's make it short. Take direct selection tool and move the, this point down. OK, the clothes is ready. Let's open watercolor brushes. Go to brushes, the icon with three lines. Open brushes library, artistic, artistic watercolor. Here it is, the watercolor brushes. And let's start to add. Guys, here I, I'm going to add just watercolor drops. So here's no rules how to add watercolor. I'm just going to show you some, my way. You can use watercolor with the help of your way. We need dark green color. Here I need uh, the size 1.5. Uh, here I need transparency 50% and opacity multiply. And now let's take a brush tool and the brush you like the most and try to add brush. You need to play with the size of the brush. You need to play with the form of the brush. Here just um, watercolor drops to add these picture, more old texture, more vintage texture. So I think you understand what I mean. So you need to change here, for example, brush. If you don't like the view, you need to change the shape here. Or if you like, you need to change the size of the brush. So you need to play the options of brush to create more interesting texture on your design. So um, there are, as I said, no rules to add watercolor texture. You need just play with uh, brushes. You can add one, two, three brushes in the same place to create more interesting texture. For example, I want in these places more dark texture to show um, leaves and the main part of the sweater like that. 
when you add brushes on design you always need uh, to be sure that your opacity multiply it's very important to it's very important important sorry to create uh, this um, vintage texture with watercolor texture so it's uh, pretty interesting to create that designs you can uh, move brushes as you like you can rotate them as you like you can change uh, sizes as you like so guys it's your design vision and you need to play with design till you like the result okay and now let's take this brush to add here more um, deep view like that and the same here no if you don't like you always can delete and try again like that okay and here i want to change brush to this one and maybe let's change the shape you see guys uh you always need to change shapes and brushes till you'd like the result because it's just watercolor drops you can um, put them in any place you like for example here and maybe here move a little up don't worry about uh, that your brushes are beyond uh, your sweater it's okay we fix it and now let's take pink color and maybe that brush and again brush tool and draw here something like round and take this brush let's taste change the size here and um, maybe 0.7 and the same here okay you see your uh, sweater is became to look more older more vintage like this well guys now let's add some details let's take this color and ellipse tool and add some ellipses here now dark green color and one more and one more ellipse here and some here okay and now let's select the shape of the sweater copy and paste it bring to front select the whole details except this one and these two and right click make clipping mask and select these two shapes and bring them to front and the same here okay guys our sweater with watercolor texture is ready and the same you need to do with their head and with their mittens you need to play with watercolor brushes till you'd like the result don't forget about multiply and opacity and it's the main here and of course uh, the size and the shape of your 
brushes. The watercolor texture is ready. Now select the mitten, group it, object, expand appearance. Ok, now rotate it. Now right click, transform, reflect, vertical copy. And move here. Now let's ungroup uh, this mitten and let's rotate this shape. Okay. Now I need to take dark gray color in the stroke and brush tool. Draw here uh, the line like this. Okay, and now I need to change this brush to that one and send it to back. Okay, and now let's take pen tool and draw some lines. We need dark green color in the stroke and this line escape with tool and make it uh, wider here. Now let's add one more line here. Escape and again width tool and make it wider. Okay. And the same you need to do with mittens. Take a uh, dark orange color and pen tool and draw some line here. Escape with tool, make here wider, and here I need to take a round cap. Okay. like that and one more detail will be here the same i need to draw one more line here escape and here rounded cap and width tool and make here wider and now we need to group the sweater, the head and the mittens. And when you need to go to object and expand appearance and expand for sweater, head and mittens, you need to do it because of if you want to change the size of your design, uh, all proportions will be saved. Okay, and the same for mittens. Object, expand appearance, object, expand. Okay. And now let's uh, select the sweater and rotate it. Let's make the mittens a little smaller. And let's make the sweater bigger. And let's rotate the head and move it here. Okay, guys, now let's take that color and um, rectangle tool. Hold shift and draw the square. And send the square back. Okay, now you need to take uh, pink color and ellipse tool and add some small ellipses with different sizes to create more cozy view and the same let's take stars with green color to add more details and if you like you can play with their 
corners of the stars with direct section tool to make more interesting view of your stars and as well you can change the color of of pink ellipses to green like that okay guys our winter clothes is ready hope you like it well guys that's all for today hope you like my tutorial if yes give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in the graphic design bye bye guys Mwah. bye